Welcome back to thestudiofiles.com. Today I'm going to show you how to organize your sessions and how to get them ready for mixing. Although I'm working in Pro Tools 8, these concepts will apply to whatever DAW you're working in. Organizing a cluttered tracking session before you start to mix will save you a lot of time and hassle. So the first thing I'm going to do is color code my tracks based on instruments. So I'm going to make the drums all one color, the guitars all one color, things like that. In Pro Tools, you do this by selecting your first drum track, holding shift and select your last drum track. That'll highlight them all. Then go up to Window, Color Palette. Then you can pick any color you want. I'm going to pick this dark purple. Now I'm going to do the same for the rest of my instruments. I've got two bass tracks here, so I'm going to group those together. Same with the lead guitar, acoustic guitars, and finally the vocals. Now that I've done that, I'm going to want to make aux tracks that'll sum each of these groups together. I'll show you. Click on the last drum track in your session and make a new stereo aux track. I had you select the last track so it'll put the aux track right next to it. Let's rename it. I'm going to call it Drum Sum. I'm going to use the Sigma symbol, which on a Mac is Option W. Now I'm going to make the input to that track my first available bus. Let's pick bus 1 and 2. Then to route all the drums to it, I'm going to highlight them with Shift, hold Shift Alt, and send them all to bus 1 and 2. So now all of my drums will be routed through this sum track. I'm going to do the same for the rest of my instruments. All right, so there's my last one. So now all individual tracks are each routed through their own bus. To finish this off, I'm going to make one more stereo aux track at the far end of my session. This is going to be my mix bus. And so I'm going to rename it Mix In. I'm also going to go back to the color palette and make it a very bright color so that I can really see it and can access it easily. For this track's input, I'm going to choose bus 29 and 30, which just one of my later buses. And now holding the command key, I need to select all of my other buses. And then holding shift alt, route them all to the mix in bus. This way I can apply two bus compression or EQ or anything I want and have it all available in one single track.